Uh, what's up guys, Dave with Build Alpha. Big, big update. Um, I wanna go over a lot of the main features. Um, first thing I did was I actually made it extremely easy to modify any of the built-in signals right from the main screen. Um, so for example, we have this RSI signal where N is the length of the RSI, O is the offset, um, how many bars ago, and then V is the value of the RSI. So I'm just gonna turn it on um, as an entry. And then over here, you can see it populates and you can modify it um, as you see fit. So what I just did is set up some conditions or settings for all those values. And that will actually create, um, you know, all of these variations of this uh, signal and will pass in all of them into the Build Alpha Strategy Engine. So you can also right click and copy and paste uh, signals and make whatever variations you see fit. Um, and that just really expands the possibilities of what we can um, test. I've also added uh, news data, uh, holidays, economic data, market breadth signals, term structure for VIX, treasury yields, and uh, option data, gamma exposure, as you guys have been so heavily requesting it. Um, so for example, you could build a price action strategy and then test if um, you, know, you should turn it on or off if non-farm payrolls come in at uh, you know, lower than some certain amount. Um, or GDP is above or below some threshold. So just ex again, expanding the possibilities of what can be tested and automated. Um, I've also made it a bit easier to uh, optimize and check strategies uh, parameter sensitivity. So just right click optimization and sensitivity. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick example. So really nothing new um, about this. Uh, I just wanna point out that the 3D graph uh, can move, so you can view it. And if you click on any point, you can actually select that setting and then generate that strategy. Um, and then go, you know, any way you would and build out the normally, just generate the code or whatever you want to do with it. Um, so that's that's there. The other thing that's really cool is instead of just optimizing the parameters on the the symbol or the data that you built the strategy on. Um, you can actually optimize it across, you know, 100 or however many noise adjusted data series, um, or you can optimize it across uh, different symbols. So let's say you built the strategy on the S&P, but you want to optimize it on the S&P, NASDAQ and Dow, for example. So again, this just opens up, um, you know, gives us a, a more robust way of testing and hopefully that leads us to more robust parameter, uh, parameter settings. Um, you know, we're not just building on uh, the historical data, we're building on, you know, what's possible and what can happen next, which is really what we're after. Um, another thing I did was make it extremely easy to save and load um, configuration. So this just increases, uh, you know, your workflow and things you can do. I also made it so that we can filter the sig uh, signal list. So again, just type in what you want. You can find the signals that have that, uh, you know, those keywords. So hopefully that speeds up your workflow as the signal list continues to grow and grow. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is rebalance strategy. So we have some rebalance options here in the settings menu. So what this does is it's going to allow us a new strategy type that ranks uh, a basket each month based on a performance metric. Um, so it could be, you know, re, you could rebalance daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. And, you know, every in a rebalance period, we re-rank the symbols and then we will apply our trading strategy to, you know, the top or bottom symbols in that basket. So for example, we had 10 ETFs. We rank them every month based on profit factor or win percentage or return. And then we apply our RSI strategy to only the top three ETFs in that basket or the bottom five ETFs in that basket. So again, hopefully this helps us avoid uh, symbols that are kind of falling out of favor for our strategies. And then um, you know it gives us an additional strategy type to diversify our portfolios. So as always guys, any questions, just email me at david at buildalpha.com. Keep a lookout for email, um, blog posts, and videos where I explain the features in depth with examples. Um, that's it, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.